Welcome, my name is Rafael. I will take you through data communication and computer networks. We shall start by understanding data communication and later we shall introduce computer networks. What is data communication? It is the process of transferring data from one location to another through a transmission medium. What about the components of data communication? We have message, a sender, a receiver, a medium or communication channel, and last we have encoder and decoder. The following is the diagram for data communication components. Explanation of data communication components. One, message. The message is the information of data that is to be communicated. It may consist of text, numbers, pictures, sounds, videos, or any combination of these. Sender. A device that is used for sending messages or data is called sender. It is also called transmitter or source. The sender can be a computer, telephone, or a video camera. Usually, a computer is used as sender in data communication systems. Receiver. This is a device that is used for receiving messages. It is also called a sync. The receiver can be a computer, telephone set, printer, or a fax machine, etc. Usually, a computer is also used as a receiver in data communication systems. A medium, the path through which data is transmitted or sent from one location to another is called transmission media. It is also called communication channel. Maybe a wire or a fiber optic cable or a telephone line. If the sender and the receiver are within a building, a wire is used as the medium. If they are located at different locations, the medium may be telephone line, fiber optics, microwave or satellite systems. Lastly, we have encoder and decoder. The encoder is an electronic device. It receives data from sender in form of digital signals. It converts digital signals into a form that can be transmitted through transmission media. A decoder is an electronic device also that receives data from transmission media. It converts encoded signals, that is analog signals, into digital form. We have three modes of data transmission. The first is simplex. In simplex transmission mode, the communication between sender and receiver occurs only in one direction. The sender can only send the data and the receiver can only receive the data. The receiver cannot reply to the sender. Simplex transmission can be thought of as one way a road in which the traffic travels only in one direction. No vehicle coming from the opposite direction is allowed to drive through. To take a keyboard or a monitor relationship as an example, the keyboard can only send the input to the monitor and the monitor can only receive the input and display it on the screen. The monitor cannot reply or send any feedback. To the keyboard. We have half duplex. The communication between sender and receiver occurs in both directions in half duplex transmission but only one at a time. The sender and receiver can both send and receive the information but only one is allowed to send at any given time. Half duplex is still considered a one-way road in which a vehicle traveling in the opposite direction of the traffic has to wait till the road is empty before it can pass through. For example, in a walkie-talkies, 
The speakers at both ends can speak, but they have to speak one by one. They cannot speak simultaneously. Full Duplex In full duplex transmission mode, the communication between sender and receiver can occur simultaneously. The sender and receiver can both transmit and receive at the same time. Full duplex transmission mode is like a two-way road in which traffic can flow in both directions at the same time. For example, in a telephone conversation, two people communicate and both are free to speak and listen at the same time. What are the types or other methods of data transmission? We have two types. The first one is serial data transmission. In serial data transmission, bits flow in a continuous stream. It is the way most data is sent over telephone lines. It is used by external modems typically connected to a microcomputer through a serial port. The technical names for such serial ports are RS-232C connector or a synchronous communications port. Second is parallel data transmission. In parallel transmission, bits flow through separate lines simultaneously, that is, at the same time. Parallel transmission is typically limited to communications over short distances. It is the standard method of sending data from a computer CPU to a printer. We come to the end of the lesson. In our next lesson, we shall cover computer networks. Thank you as you continue to study.